Yeah, so the recording again I have uh, saved and uh, again it has been started. I am extremely sorry as it that, uh, yeah, so my laptop can pause it was video continuous, so I have to break down the video so that the video does not fade out. Right, so now it is 1 by 2 power n, that is gamma half. Gamma or up by gamma half plus half plus dot 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 up, right? And this is integration zero to a square. Now uh, I am using uh, the uh, Liouville's extension theorem. So here this is my function f of u1 plus u2 u square. So if you put then it will be h power n by 2 minus 1 right because here l1 is half, l2 is half, l3 is half, ln is half. So there are some n many term uh, variables are there n by 2 minus 1 e h and f of h. What is f of h? Uh, square root of a square minus h. Right? Now you have to uh, compute this uh, So this is 1 by 2 power n gamma half that is root pi whole power in that is pi to the power n by 2 and that is gamma of n by 2. So now if you put a square equals to sorry h equals to substitute h equals to a square sin square theta then this will be 0 to pi by 2 because h theta a 0 then 0 h a square then this is pi by 2 right so now that is actually now will be h power n by 2 minus 1 so a square sin square theta one minus 1 and d h will be a square 2 sin theta cos theta d theta by root over a square minus 1 minus sin square theta and square root of this right so let me add one minute. One by two power n pi power n by two comma n by two two a power n minus one zero two pi by 2 sin theta 1 power n minus 1 t theta that is actually equals to 2 power n pi by power n by 2 gamma of n by 2 a power n minus 1 now use 2 into 0 to pi by 2 sin theta whole power n minus 1 beta function. So that is actually 2 n by 2 half. Now put the value of beta and uh, beta n n equals to on gamma n gamma n by gamma n plus n. I a power n minus 1 
bằng hoa yến bằng hoa yến với bằng hoa on yến plus on by two now gamma n by two gamma n by two is cancel out and gamma half is root pi so that will be pi n plus one by two n by two plus one sorry root pi plus one a power n minus one by gamma half plus 1 by 2 and this is the final answer right yeah so if you have any step uh, that is not clear to you please ask uh, otherwise i shall move to, uh, to the small corollary uh, for this thing then we shall move to surface integral so let me write some uh, quick corollaries on this thing for a lot of can easily find find the can easily find the Okay, just write down this. This is it. Just write. Yeah. You can find the value past one integration is p one. Is it by the one square minus x square plus x square or by integral integral in Extended to all positive values of the variables for which the expression. So I am writing the answer, you just see that one. That is actually going to be pi square is square by 8. Right? So now, so, uh, so I am giving one more. You also check this one. Triple integration e is e one e z by square root of one minus x square plus y square plus z square. In this case, the answer equals to y square by a. That equals to one f, right? So you compute. Yeah. So now we shall move to the surface integral. So there are different types of surface integral. So we shall learn first uh, surface integral for scalar value function that is scalar field and the uh, uh, second we shall 
introduce uh, the surface integral for the motor field, but uh, we shall see later Gauss uh, divergence theorem, which involves uh, curl and divergence. So at this moment, we shall learn only surface integral for a scalar field, and uh, the surface is obtained by a level set. Uh, I shall just tell you about the level set. So now we shall see surface integral. Uh, where the surface is coming from a level set of the scalar field. Right? Okay, so let me put uh, this small lemma we shall study or learn now the surface integral where the surface is coming from the level set of the Scalar. Don't worry, so I shall now um, uh, write all the things. So, what is half is part of one? Half is in R3. So, is half is half is R3 is a vector value function. Function whose domain whose domain is a subset of R two and codomain is a subset of R three, right? In particular, you can uh, mathematically write it as x equals to function of some u p y equals to z of u p and z equals to a jump u b. Then, if then the set x y z is called a surface, right? And in such cases, and the surface integral is Defined to be is equal to square root of L Y Z L U B square L of X Z by L of U B square L of x y by now you may think why it is defined in this way so uh, I shall just try to convince you by picture and I shall prove in one case so if you look at the picture suppose I have uh, the surface obtained by by, by from, uh, from this picture right ok so now in order to find the surface integral, what we do that project the uh, surface in uh, the three coordinate planes in x y plane, in y z plane, and in x z plane. And you calculate the double integral because you have already learned uh, the double integral there. And uh, after projecting down, you calculate the double integral in each of the coordinates and sum them. 
and when you project in the x of y z plane then you see there it is y and z is coming when you project in the x z plane then you are taking partial derivative with respect to x and z and when you are projecting down in the x y plane then you are taking x and y so now i shall now uh, tell you one particular case uh, I shall prove actually one case. And there are three cases when you can ex write the, uh, express the um, surface, express the surface in this form. Then the surface integral comes out to be p of x y square root of 1 plus del z del x square plus del z del y square right where p x y equals to the region oriented by taking projection of the I is equal to is right projection of D on X line plane right S two. So now we shall do case 2 if the surface can be expressed as if the surface is expressed as x equals to sub function of y and z then the surface integral turns out to be of y z square root of 1 plus del x del y square plus del x del z square dx dz where the d y z is the region obtained from by taking projection in the yz plane so let me just copy and paste well right yz plane well, y z the region obtained oriented by taking projection of d in y z plane right and finally the case 3 when the surface is expressed at y equals to function of x and z then 
the surface integral turns out to be d of x j square root of 1 plus del y del x square plus del y del z square d x sorry d x d z now the position has been taken in the x z plane where Now this will be x z plane. P of x z is the region obtained by taking projection of D on x z plane. Now I shall prove the case one. Right? Okay, as I promised to you, so you let me prove that. Yes, one. Right, so let the equation of the surface be let the equation of the surface P Z equals to function of X and Y and the point any point on the surface be denoted as X, Y, Z P any point denoted on the surface right Now, let the element, the small surface area on the given surface be del S. Let elementary surface enclosing the point that is a surface around the point small uh, surface around this point B del of S right now the projection the projection of del S on X Y plane that is z equals to 0 each say del x del y right i have taken projection in x y plane right so now let theta to be the angle between the plane z equals to 0 where the surface has been projected has been projected and the tangent plane and the tangent plane and x, y, z on the given surface S. Right? So, I mean it uh, seems like this one. Although this is not accurate, uh, but uh, yeah, I have uh, tried my best. So, this is S and now this has been say projected as del x del y this is projection and there is a plane there and this is theta right 
also denote a is to be the projection of the area of the plane on the plane the projection the projection of the area on the plane z equals to zero and a to b the area of the region surface then cos theta equals to this this is uh, this one is a is and this is your a so cos theta will be this by a right because this one is a and this one is a is so this implies a is equals to a cos theta right hence del s equals to del x del y set theta because a equals to del s and a s is del x del y right now you know you know on coordinate geometry coordinate geometry that angle between z equals to zero and the tangent plane at x y z of the surface z equals to it is y is given by cos theta equals to square root of 1 plus z x l y square plus right thus the total area becomes thus del s equals to root over 1 by 1 plus del x square okay del x del y if s is the total surface area then s equals to one plus del z del x square is y here the limit of the integration for x and y are taken as to cover the whole region of the projection integration of x and y are taken 
edge of two copper plus whole region obtained by pricking projection on its y right so now we shall so if you have any doubts please ask otherwise i shall move to, uh, to the next few things uh, that i am going I have to complete also because it is already 8 35 so i have only 25 minutes left so that is the proof so now if you have any doubts you just ask otherwise i shall move to the uh, next okay so polar form and yes so now if you change the uh, coordinates to polar then you will get you changing the coordinates to polar coordinate of all points in the uh, in the projected region in the projected we get i s equals to r square l r in pi square r square sin square theta del r del theta square sin square theta whole power bar now we shall go surface integral for uh, for a vector value function so so far we have seen for a uh, uh, scalar value function now we shall see for a vector value function so let's start let S P R two sided surface such that let one side of S one side of S E considered arbitrarily as the positive side if S is here then 
the positive side is outside the sphere. Then, if uh, S is S is root surface, then it root, then this is this is taken as the outer side right okay now let n be a unit vector at a point of the positive side This is the vital part. You have to uh, just learn that associate associate the differential of surface area T S as a vector whose magnitude is the surface area is and the direction is N vector, right? Then D S equals to D S N and the surface integral becomes A dot D S equals to S A dot N D S, right? This is one type of surface integral is Sir, having a doubt. Yeah. Here we mentioned the n uh, vector is uh, normal to the surface, right? Yes, yes. Uh, in the way of uh, outer word or inner word? Yeah, it is. Uh, so I have written here, right? See, considered arbitrarily as the positive side if the surface is closed then it is taken to be the outer side so if surface is closed it has two side one is inner side and other part is outer side and i take the outer side to be the positive side and i have written that n be the unit vector at a point of the positive side that means it is and in the outer side is it clear Yes, it is clear, but uh, suppose um, this inner word uh, normal, then how can we calculate the double integral? Yeah, if you take the inner words, then you can just put a negative sign, uh, then it will become obviously the outer sign. Okay, the quantity is same, but uh, the yeah. sign will be changed, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. So that is actually turns out to be so. This is one particular type of surface integral. This is an example of an surface 
integer which is known as class of the vector uh, field type which is known as class of the vector field type right but there are uh, several types of uh, surface integral that uh, we have just discussed uh, the surface integral which are uh, coming from the level set of uh, 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 scalar field so here i am writing all possibles but uh, in this course we shall learn only this that uh, surface integral for vector field and scalar field so there are several types like s i n t s this is one where phi is a scalar value and n is given to me by uh, my own choice it is not coming from the surface integral uh, and uh, you can write that uh, this is a cross product uh, as you have seen that uh, a dot ds is also possible for uh, dot product similarly for cross products also defined so these are uh, some physics related thing but uh, this is beyond this phi is Scalar. This course mainly so. Let me check whether I have mentioned uh, the surface. Um, set one. Just wait a minute. Okay, so let me put one thing that I have missed to write. What is the main set I know? Because for scalar value, it is a scalar field, so you have to get a surface in order to uh, say the term surface So, just one line I have to write here. If phi is a scalar field, say a map from in our case R3 to R, you can take it as to be R into R also, then the level set is by inverse of c for some c x y you can take it to be 0 or any number c belongs to so you will get if you look at the inverse image of a point then you will get a surface in earth so some uh, we have we will study uh, surface integral for those surfaces which are coming in this way and the other one which is coming from the vector pitch that uh, I have just written. So now uh, surface integral for vector fields we shall see at the end because you have to learn divergence curve all these things that we will learn in the next week but for this week we shall uh, study only the scalar pitch. Okay, so let me test this. Yeah, so now it is just for your uh, convenience the I have written this statement. Uh, uh, when you will learn the Stokes theorem, you will see that this is just an easy formula. So the theorem says that if I have a three-dimensional regular uh, domain D, which is bounded by a smooth oriented surface, uh, smooth surface means if each of the components are smooth functions. And if HCH are three functions with continuous first order uh, partial derivative that is fx, cy and hz upon to c. I don't need the other partial derivatives fy and fz like here for g, s, c, z. I just need fx, cy and hz. At each point of t and s like they are continuous on b as well as on the surface s then 
that triple integration f x plus g y plus h z is actually equals to the surface integral f d y d z that is the first term is integration in the surface by taking projection in the y z plane the second one is surface integral by taking projection in the z x plane and third one in the taking projection in the x y plane when you will see uh, Stokes theorem you will see that this is nothing but the integration along the boundary and it should be the uh, volume integration over the whole closed surface and in that case there, there are many other terms will come but those are actually getting managed so it will be in this form fx dxy dz fy dy dy dz plus f f z d z d y d z and similarly for the g also g x d x d z d x d y d y d z d x plus d z d z x plus h x t x part of the box h t x t y h y t y t y h z t z t x See, as I, uh, last time, I, uh, maybe two weeks ago, I told that whenever two terms coming uh, simultaneously in an integration, they does not contribute anything. So, all the terms are, the same terms are present, like, they are dz, dz are present, they are ts, ts present, they are dz, dz are present, ts, ts, dy, dy, and here, yeah, so after all the only surviving terms will be fx plus cy plus nz dx dy dz. Not only that, if you change the signs here, like g of dx dz, then obviously there will be one negative sign. So it is written in such a way that uh, you don't get confused. So let me also put uh, other remarks. So, let me So, these are not written in the final handwritten solution. If you change the sign, if you change tz tx, sorry, ts tz. then one negative term will appear, one negative term will appear before g y and similar for other ones also, similar for the Once. Yeah, so uh, this is just for your information. Uh, like uh, you have uh, lots of school to compute uh, now uh, the surface integral, so it does not uh, actually that much effect. The, the one which involves scale and divergence that is actually much it. Anyway, so let's uh, see you some uh, show you some. Then we shall end up with this business. So let me start again on uh, surface integration. Yeah, so so that the area of the surface included so C 
सिंस हियर बिटवीन द प्लेन x इक्वल्स टू 0 टू a ऑब्वियसली ए बी आर पॉजिटिव अदरवाइज यू विल बी गेट कंफ्यूज्ड इन फैक्ट द सरफेस एरिया विल बी नेगेटिव बिकॉज यू विल नॉट एबल टू टेक स्क्वायर रूट anyway so the surface is given z square equals to 2xy and the region is x equals to 0 to a y is 0 to b that is in the first quadrant it means you can write z as square root of 2xy because x and y are positive in the given surface and given surface so as in the case one you have expressed your uh, surface uh, in the form z equals to function of x y that is nothing but the level set of the function pi inverse of zero where pi of x y z is z square minus two x one right so and uh, pi is a scalar load function so this is one particular case where the surfaces are coming as level set of some smooth function. Yeah, so now from here the, as you know the what is going to be the uh, you know the formula for the uh, surface integral in such cases that going to be if you calculate then this will come as right and the angle between uh, the surface after projecting to x y and the tangent plane at the point that is cos theta actually equals to 1 by 1 plus then y by z and x by z also because then the tail is uh, sorry this is del z del y right right so now that is actually x square plus y square plus z square but uh, z square is 2xy so if you substitute then you will get x plus y square and there it is 2xy z square is 2xy so you will get and root 2 times 1 by root over so x uh, so if you put x i x y inside then you will get first one of okay, k so 1 by y plus 1 by x let me put it in the shape then it will be easier to because it is going to denominator that's why it is taking to be Set theta is actually then it will be 1 by root 2 plus root of x plus y square and z square is that is 2 x y and that is going to be x y because it will announce to be the square of this term and after square root will cancel out in particular s is actually x equals to 0 to a because this is the region uh, the rectangle obtained by taking projection and this is 1 by root 2 Regular is by y, y by x, is p y. Now let me compute one um, integration and then I say left for p. So 
So it will turns out to be it will takes root one times two plus one by root x point by three or two by three and this is zero to b. Now you can complete or complete the rest. So if you complete then it will come as 4 by 3 root 2 the root a b times a plus b okay. I am left p left for you because I am already the time and I have one more to get to see you so you so let's go to the last problem and as usual if you are not getting then just I am always that to help you. Yeah, so here the question read the question the find the area of the surface of this sphere. It is strictly mentioned of this sphere. Because sometimes students get confused which surface has to be taken. You just read the question that find the area of the surface of the sphere. It is written clear. So the surface that you will get, you, it will come from the sphere included with in the cylinder. So, now you know which, what is the surface that is uh, the equation of the surface that is that is a square. You can write it as pi inverse of 0 where pi of x, y, z is x square plus y square plus z square minus s right so again this is a uh, level set of some smooth function and in this case you can easily check that uh, this quantity is going to be minus y by z and del z del y see here there are lots of options. You can take projection in xz, in yz, in zx. Since I have proved the case where projection has been taken in xz, this y plane, so I am using that. You can use the other projections also. That case 2 and case 3. The proofs are also same example. You can use any one of them. Yeah, so that each turns out to be a by z because x square plus y square plus z square is a square and z you know that is a square minus x square minus y square. Now if you change to the polar coordinates, changing to We have x theta is actually a by the root over r square, a square minus r square because x square plus y square is r square, x comes to r plus theta y comes to r sin theta. Then the, the given surface that uh, surface that is bounded by bounded by x square plus y square equals to a x turns out to be this is r square and a r cos theta that is r equals to a cos theta so now you know what is your surface integral so s equals to Theta equals to 0 to pi by 2, 0 to a cos theta, a bar, root of bar, a square minus r square, r, a r, t theta. But what is this? See here, I have used z equals to See here, I have is, used z is positive. So, this 
So I have assumed it is actually lying in the first quadrant. But I need to compute the surface area throughout the sphere. So just multiply it by two. Because I have computed in the first quadrant, and if you compute, then it will come as pi. This is a very uh, uh, easy calculation. Pi minus two. Okay, if you are not able, then please ask in the next. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that is for today. If you have any doubts, then uh, yeah, I, I shall wait two minutes more and I will see you then. Yeah. How are you? Are everything going fine? Hello? Uh, yes, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, so uh, is everything going fine? Yes, fine, fine. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, yeah. What is a uh, surface interval? Surface interval can be a volume of the surface or uh, it may give uh, area of the surface. Yeah, I am um, actually your voice is much breaking, so if you can clearly do it. Or you can uh, write in chat box also. Can you hear me? Your voice is actually breaking too much. Like in the uh, volumes of a hello. Hello. Yeah, I request you to uh, type in the chat because I am not uh, understanding your voice properly. Okay, okay, so yeah, so I hope you uh, can learn uh, hear me properly, right? Yeah, so sharpness integral means uh, okay. is, is the volume in the surface. No, uh, sharpness integral are related to volume integral only when the even surface is in like closed like uh, for example if you take a sphere and if you take the upper half only not the uh, upper hemisphere then you can do their volume integral you are only integrating over the surface of the sphere but if you take the whole sphere i mean uh, throughout the whole sphere uh, like boundary of the like, boundary of the disc then it is like a football then you can actually integrate and get the volume integration that is uh, the divergence theorem but unless the surface is closed you can involve it with volume integration like you have you know line integral that is an integration along a curve that is just a single curve Surface is nothing but uh, lots of curves all together and continuous and smooth. Well, the concept is same as line integral, but you are integrating over a surface, and the surface can be obtained many ways. Like as I have told that uh, as a level set or as a vector field, that is a multi-valued function, 
and yeah so that's all like is it clear yes exactly line integral keeps the area of the curve under uh, like what you have just written that it keeps the area under the curve and uh, surface integral gives you the area under the surface and surface uh, it, it is not accurate but you can think of that it is a uh, you can think of this as a combined uh, like collection of curves uh, such that they are attached in a continuous and smooth manner such that you can think of The concept of integration is exactly same. Like you, as we started from line integral, then we uh, this interval a b. Then we have deep generalized line integral. Okay. So you can uh, type in Google uh, Wikipedia that uh, what is uh, line integral, surface integral. If you go to the Wikipedia. Then uh, yeah, it will get, but I shall try. I shall try. If I get, then I shall share uh, the links where I actually putting my uh, notes. You can look at uh, any Wikipedia, you surely will get. If, if you are not able, then you can mail me. Uh, you know my email address, right? So, in, you can post in discussion forum also. Or if I can get, then I shall uh, share the link. Where I share my notes. Like, we, we can leave the notes are available. There I shall share. Okay, so uh, in the discussion forum, I had uh, once put it is oh, it's just a minute and time. Yeah, I had sent it. You can put in discussion forum, or you can mail me directly, or you can talk with me. Have out okay so if uh, no questions then end uh, to this session so I end the session or if, or if you have any question Yeah, should I end or uh, just wait or if you have any questions then Okay, then see you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.